People ask me why am I not on TikTok, you know, this new phenomenon for creators. But as far as I can see, there's nothing creative or phenomenal about it. To me, it's just a bunch of monkey see, monkey do. Is it me or is it just people using templates to make the same kind of video over and over? Or people all over the world doing the same dance to a song that they don't even like. The dance is more popular than the song. And then the person who actually made the dance doesn't get anywhere near the credit as the people who make it popular. That's not any reason for me to express my creativity if somebody else is going to get famous for it. But now TikTok has reached the pinnacle of buffoonery with this new Flip the Switch challenge. Flip the Switch challenge is nothing but them playing a verse from Drake. And when he says flip the switch, they turn the lights off and turn on. And whenever they turn it back on, you're doing something different. I'm not mad at it because even though the dude in the pull-up looks ridiculous, little man dancing in the back brings joy to my heart. But then people have tainted it beyond my comprehension. Now there's couples doing it, and this is just ridiculous. No matter which person in the relationship's idea it is to do it, I'm looking at you funny. What man walks up to his woman and goes, hey, baby, you know, uh, Let's do the flip the switch challenge, all right? Whenever I flip the switch, you're going to have on my clothes, and I'm going to be wearing your panties. And you got to twerk first, you know what I mean, and do all your feminine stuff, and then whenever I flip the switch, I'm going to do it. That's going to be so funny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't wait to wear your drawers. Or what woman is okay in being like, hey, you know, I respect you as a man. I, I, I appreciate what you bring to the table, but I just, for, for the enjoyment of other people, I want you to put on my clothes so I can get likes. In both examples, relationships should end immediately. I wish my girl would. I want to know, fellas, what are you getting out of this? Is it, are we that thirsty for likes and attention that we're going to now start wearing our women's clothes in order to get likes. And then it's not even like it's original. You're not the first person to do it. There are several people to do it. So what is the benefit of doing that? Do you wear a tampon too? Where do you stick it? No, I'm serious. I, I, I'm curious. Okay. I'm starting to believe it's called TikTok because it's showing us that time is ticking to the end of the world. It's showing us all the sheep, all the monkey see, monkey doers, the non- creative, just non-original people that they are out here, that everybody is just moving to one note and not on anything positive, on a bunch of dumb stuff. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm about to just take my kids and move to a place with no Wi-Fi. I can't have them subjected to this. Man, bring books back. Nick, you niggas need to read. This is ridiculous. Also, this is a reminder that April 17th and 18th, I will be performing at Uptown Comedy Corner in Atlanta, Georgia. All right. Yes, this video had a bunch of men cross-dressing, but that's not why I'm pointing out that I'm performing at Atlanta. That's not what reminded me. And no matter what this video was, I was going to I was going to remind you guys that's sheer coincidence. Funny, but sheer coincidence, I promise.